here we are on the 30th of March 2009. We're going to test model composite submarine pressure hulls. On the left, I've got glass fibre composite materials, and on the right, I've got carbon fibre. In the front, I've got the two end bungs which we use for sealing off the model submarine pressure hull. So here we have the test tank which is capable of exerting a pressure of 3,000 pounds per square inch or 210 megapascals. This is connected to a pump which is capable of exerting a pressure of 6,000 psi or 410 megapascals. And here are the couple of the experimenters. All right then, Mohammed. Hi. All right, Paul. Hi. Say hi to the camera. Yeah. And we're going to fill the test tank. Off you go, Mohammed. Okay. Pull one of our researchers and he's going to put one of the end bungs on the end of the model submarine pressure hull. Off you go, Paul. We're going to put the other bung on the other end to seal the vessel so it'll be watertight. And now Paul places the seal pressure vessel vertically into the test tank. We forgot about that, didn't we, Paul? Here's <laughs> your plate, and Paul's going to put it on top of the tank top. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> so that's Nero, Mohammed, yes. and Paul, and Nero, Mohammed, and Paul are going to screw the tank top down. So off you go. Good. This is for cleaning. The bleed hole. We pump air through it, the trapped air, and uh, we see after we pump the air through it, we seal it with a bleed screw, which is shown there. Okay. We're now going to pump the air through the bleed hole. There it comes. That's it. We can stop that now. Mm. Call it out. What's what's it? Three fifty. It's gone at 350. It's gone back down to. Ed, call it out. Alright, 200. It's broken. It's PTS G2, and it claps where Paul is showing it there. Turn it around slowly, Paul, so we can see if there's any other fractures or delaminations. A bit more slowly than that. I turn around to where it claps. Where the collapses. Is that it? Point yeah, that's it. Wrong way. There it is. A little bit of water inside. We can't see the the collapse area too well in this light. So now we're going to test PTSG3 glass fibre. Here are our experimenters. Off you go then, Paul. Call out the pressure as you go along. 300, 350. Slower than that. Oh, it's gone. Gone. PTSG 3, which collapsed at 350 psi. Can you show the fault line? Good. That's a crack for PTSG 3. It looks like a lobe form. Okay. Go a bit faster because we're all right at this pressure. It's not going to go. Keep going. A bit faster. That's it. And call out the pressures. 200, 300. Right. <laughs> 4, 8, 9, 80. Keep going, Paul. 1,000. 1,020. 40. 1,060. 1,080. 1,100. 1,120. 40. 60. 180. 1,200. 1,220. 240. 260. That's gone. Go on. It's not gone. Yeah, I think that's gone. Yeah. Right, this is PDS C2, which collapsed at 
12 80 psi and Mohammed will show you the fracture. Well done Mohammed. This is the delamination with a carbon fiber model subject pressure hull. Okay. Off we go. Drop to 500. I shouldn't break at 500. And stop at 500. Uh -huh. Off you go then, Terry. 1020, 40, 60, 80, 1100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 1200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 260, 1280, 1300, 1340, 1,440, 1,460, 1,470, 1,470, yep, yes. and there he goes. This is PDS-C3, which collapsed, and uh, Neuro will show the cracking on the outside surface of PDS-3. Lovely. This is the inside of PTS Carbon 3. See the delaminations. These are the vessels after the tests. Carbon on the right, and a glass on the left, together with the two end bones.